Two people in Brazil have been arrested for cannibalism. Now this includes a man, his wife, and actually the man's mistress is involved in this as well. They went on trial in Brazil yesterday after they were arrested in 2012 for allegedly killing women and baking them in their pastries, okay? Not only would they consume these pastries, they would also sell them off to their neighbors. The three uh, would apparently use the remains of people murdered to bake something known as flechinto or thick empanadas. Whoa and then they would consume them. So uh, a five-year-old girl that reportedly lived with them also ate uh, these empanadas, and they would allegedly lure women uh, to their home to interview them for supposed jobs, but then they would, of course, uh, murder them and then eat them. Now, they claim that they belonged to a group that believed in the purification of the world and the reduction of its population. Yeah, good excuse, you just wanted to eat people, okay? But I wanna know what you guys have to say about this. Um, there are still tribes in remote parts of the world that are cannibals, they yes. do eat people. And I wanna, I wanna hear what you guys have to say about that. Sandra, let me start with you, make your point. Um, this is quite a terrifying real life Hansel and Gretel story. Yeah. It's really kind of creepy. Um, I feel like this is kind of, it's one of those squicky stories where you're like, no, meh, meh, yeah. meh. Um, yeah. I do find it fascinating though how uh, human beings are so intelligent and we have such a rationality that you can take something like the idea that we must uh, rid the world of too many people and then move to let's eat them. Yes. The fact that we can go to these very strange places with our intellect, I think uh, we don't spend enough time examining that as, as something we need you, to do. Your sort. commentary always fascinates me because even if we talk about something terrible, you find like you find a way to step back and think <laughs> about like the good parts of it. Like, you know, it turns out that our intellect is very complex. Yeah. <laughs> but like, but would you say that they have a complex intellect or would you argue that or would you make my argument, which is these people are just insane and they just want to eat people, yeah. so they're well, making an excuse. Mental health issues are actually uh, also fascinating to me yeah. because it's not just some people are crazy, some people aren't. I mean, without the right nurturing, the right uh, skill set, many people can go quite mad quite quietly and yeah. you don't know. And so when you have people who are obviously seeming to be insane and also having a justification for that insanity, you have both of those coming together. And I yeah. think um, we don't give enough attention uh, to nurturing people to be healthier okay. humans. Um, so it is interesting, but it's also, I don't think this is like a rampage of cannibalism. Around no, Brazil I don't think so either, no. It's fascinating. Yeah. Uh, I, have to, I agree with what the first part you're saying about um, how many people maybe justify, like in this situation, what started off in the story, they were trying to justify this disgraceful thing that they were doing, um, but then when you, he was held up in court, he basically confessed and said that he immediately regretted his decision. For me, it seemed like he was trying to plead the insanity card mm -hmm. to try and get off from like extended jail time and be more like a padded cell sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's creepy, but at the same time, like there's so many stories out there where people try to, like this cleansing ritual um, as if they, like they're trying to justify doing something like this based on beliefs, that's for me, is, it is amazing how intelligent people can be, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's so scary. Of it's course, like, I, I can't handle when people use their religion yes. or their belief system to justify something that harms other people. And in mm -hmm. this case, yeah. innocent people were killed, so these individuals can make empanadas out of their flesh. It's yeah. disgusting. Now here's the question for the story. If you were in a post-apocalyptic scenario and the only way to survive was to eat human flesh, would you, Francis? So bear with me, I'm about to get really deep and dark. Um, I, I had this conversation with someone we do the Walking Dead panel and I had a conversation about this and I said that um, if this was to happen, it, as quickly as possible, I'd have the government round up all prisoners, rapists, pedophiles, child molesters, round them up and preserve them for like, to preserve your own like living being and use them to eat on them if you happen to run out. <laughs> I'm being generally serious. So uh, not just cannibalism, but also a an organized, premeditated planning for yeah, cannibalism. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 fair enough, I might be a little over dramatic, but one thing I cannot stand. <laughs> Have you given this a lot of thought? I give, I, yeah? I, 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 I've watched, have you ever seen the movie Gone Baby Gone? Like there's a lot no. of, have you ever seen like these movies? Um, I love them, it was like directed by Ben Affleck and it's about how the law like tries to take it into their own hands when it comes to like yeah. child molesters and uh, pedophiles and stuff like that. And that's, for me, like I have generally have a trouble like grasping what's the right punishment for these people. And if it was a post-apocalyptic world when there's or no holds barred, like these are what I would use as preserves if you were gonna run so out of resources. So your I'm answer is yes. You would I would and it would be right. the people who okay. deserve to be eaten. All right, Sandra. 
Wow. Would you even well, follow watch? that up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, honestly, I know that I get real kooky when I'm hungry. Yes. Like, I low blood sugar hits, and, and I know that I don't know what I would do in that situation. I also know in a post-apocalyptic world, I have a death wish. Like, I'm just, just kill me now. Like, I... Thank you! I feel that I would not survive very long because I think that the capabilities of humans are to adapt to any situation. And yeah. I think some of us in the population are way better at something like the post-apocalyptic situation. I am not. Yeah. But if... But who knows? Maybe I'll get real Rambo. Who knows? Um, but I think... It, I uh, yeah, I'd probably you eat, would do eat a it? person yeah. because I know I'd probably get real crazy. Um, <laughs> I would. I'm, I'm going to keep it 100% real. I would find a way to kill myself before it even got to that point. Okay. Like it's post-apocalyptic world. I mean, it's death and destruction everywhere. I mean, every time I watch Walking Dead, I'm like, why don't these people just kill themselves already? Like, why? <laughs> why well, are you guys it, fighting so hard? Show. Like, this is miserable. This is a miserable experience. Look. Quality over quantity, okay? I don't even like getting lost in a hike and then, you know, having to walk an extra two miles. Like, oh, I, I get really pouty. Anna. So I can't imagine she living might. in this scenario and trying to survive. God help no. us if we have a post of fuck up the no, world with I Anna would, But I would be the first to take my own life. I like, like, I don't want to deal with it. On a hike, you know, oh no, where's Anna? She throws herself off a cliff. Oh, I'm shit. too much. We're <laughs> lost. I can't deal with it anymore. Anyway, but we do want to know what you would do. Would you eat a human flesh if you needed to? to do so to survive. And also, what do you think about this Brazilian trio? Um, I'm actually more curious to hear what you guys think about Francis's point, okay? <laughs> Are you gonna, gonna round up following. the criminals and, and have a feast? I don't know, share in the comment section below. We'll see you guys soon.